welcome to Martial Arts Self-Defense. This is Instructor Carlo. One sec. So today I want to get more into, continue getting into our practice here. I think going day by day and building uh, the momentum. Now, I don't always record and I don't always upload. So uh, I'm in the process of organizing all the videos so you can use them as a reference library. So hopefully everything's going well. Let's go ahead and stretch. You know, I wanted to just kind of cut through the stretch scenes and just kind of whatnot, but I think it's a good reminder. I think it's a great reminder for everyone to take that time out to stretch, right? Because the benefits of the stretching will always uh, last uh, tenfold, right? The benefits of the stretching right, really are, um, uh, can really be shown. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go ahead and start with our arm circles. Love arm circles because they're easy and they can get the blood flowing, all right? In the neck. Face is ready to the sun. And the hips. Whenever I do the hip circles, I always want to make sure you get the full range of motion. And, and we can also go into hips and knees and all that other fun stuff from a health perspective, okay? At least making sure we can raise the knees to okay, waist level, waist high. Same thing. If you can raise it up to the chest, even better, right? Okay. Very good, very good. Like the leg, finding an item you can stretch with. We're gonna put the leg up and stretch. Now, I wanna ensure that my foot is facing forward. front of the leg so we go from back to front to back Now, it will vary the length in terms of how I hold the stretch. If I find one area in particular may need more attention or more stretching, I'll put the focus on that area. Okay.
side. Stretching is important. You need to take the time to stretch because it will slow things down for you. You will find that you will actually get more done if you take the time to stretch. Okay, we're going to begin on our poo-boo stretch. I'm going to be facing the back here. For the poo-boo stretch, you can always use an object to keep your foot uh, stable in a as a, you can use this as a barricade, I'm trying to think of the word here, but you can use, uh, place your foot against the wall or something like that, you can use a wall as so, and you can use that to stabilize. And I'll show from this end as I'm going down, I'm, so I'm going down, I'm trying to keep my back straight, and then that way I can focus on just relaxing the muscles here I know the posture is good. So I'm here and slowly, okay, when you feel more comfortable, you can eventually get down. This side I'm a little bit tight. And then slowly, all right, one foot has to stay on the ground. As so, okay, both feet have to stay on the ground, but I stay as so. so. I'm facing this direction because I enjoy facing the sun. It's easier for me, you can see from the back foot from here. And same thing on this side. I'm just gonna try to maintain good back posture and slowly sink at an angle. I, you want to sit on your ankle. That's a good way to put it here. Okay, don't put too much stress on the knees. And that's why if you need to, you can always use the ground. The ground is always safe. Sometimes I like to come back up and back on the other side. Okay, if you need to use something, do something, okay? And same thing on the left side, working on our keeping stance. Okay. And so, I have some work to do as well. We all have some work. Poo boo stance is a great stance as far as using it in uh, self defense situations. That's another story here. Um, I find that there's other movements that are a little bit more practical in that sense. Okay, but it does have self, self defense purpose and it's great for uh, body mechanics, and flexibility, and things of that nature. Okay, so go ahead and take a quick water break. We'll get started here. Doing these kicks, you might not be able to see my feet because I have to keep my arms out and because of camera angles and things like that. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, what we were working on before. So we want to combine everything. Let's go ahead and start with our kicks. Just getting the feet moving. Good time to work on your breathing as well. And 
kicks, right? Outside kicks. Just start with our basic stretch kick, front stretch kick. Two, three. Outside kick. If you need to stretch, go ahead and do what you need to do. Sometimes you might need to stretch in between. Acrobatics, handstands. <clears throat> Left side. Number one. This is more of an introduction and just a, a peek into the training methods, combining everything that we learned, the Qigong, the breathing. As we're recovering, we're actually practicing the Tai Chi, the Qigong, okay, and then we're doing the forms and then incorporating the Wushu and finding ways to incorporate it all. So with that, bag a little bit, right? <coughs> Okay. Right. Have a great day.